Okay, so I was inspired to do this uh, video on self-inquiry or the observer and uh, the seer and visuals and images uh, and, uh, and contrast. Okay, so as you start, uh, and if, to get a basic introduction of this, please watch, go to my YouTube channel and in my YouTube channel there's a search bar and put in the observer tool. You get a list of all my videos on observer uh, to observe sound, uh, time, how to observe the body, thoughts, all that stuff. For great. But we're going to talk in this video more about uh, the seer and visuals and images. Okay, so what if you're doing the observer and what, if, what the experience is now that there is a witnesser uh, uh, that is witnessing a world uh, which seems not from a particular direction but there is witnessing of the world uh, like, a, like, like a witnesser or just a seeing of the world not from an individual but just uh, you know it could be an omnidirectional witnessing of the world not in location, not in time, not from a body and not uh, registering as coming from thoughts so then the thing is, okay, so there's, there's, it might be a state of bliss and oneness, fine. So there is now a world that is being witnessed. Uh, so there's a witnessing of whatever it is. It could be a park, it could be a street, it could be a room. There's just pure witnessing. So is there, so there's witnessing or maybe one would say there is experiencing of witnessing, but is there a witnesser of the, of the witnessing? Is there a witnesser of the observation of the world? Is there something that sees this? Is there something behind the witnesser that witnesses the world? And if there is a witnesser that's witnessing the witnessing of the world, does this witnesser witness a world? Does this witnesser witness images or colours? Is this witnesser, if there is one, is it interested in images or forms or the world? And if this witnesser is interested in the world or images, then is there a witnesser of this witnesser? Is there a witnesser of the world or of images, even if there's no body and no thoughts, that doesn't register the world, where there is no world? Well, what is the experience of the witnesser of the world? So just keep contemplating that and, you're, and see if you've arrived, if there's a, a non-local, non-identified, timeless witnesser beyond the body and thoughts is that it? Or is there a witnesser of that? Um, feel free to write a comment in the comment section and uh, I shall look forward to your comments. Thank you.